lovely people welcome back to my channel we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of fifa i greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video okay so it was alleged that uh, reverend esther ajayi have blasted oni of ife over his attitude towards queen naomi this uh, reverend esther ajayi happens to be someone that is a true child of god a woman of god it is said that she is the founder of celestial church of god and only of if you have uh, uh, placed this woman on a high esteem as in he values her so much that he sees her as her godmother why when naomi on her side sees reverend funke as her own godmother it was said that all this why that they have been having issues with uh, marrying women that most of the times that only of if will go to ajay uh, reverend esther ajay to report this case for him for her to call the attention of uh, queen naomi and talk to her and it was said that in most on most in most cases uh, she will invite queen naomi and talk to her queen naomi will agree and it was said that the last time that Queen Naomi gave her one month, why Funke asked her to give him six months was when Oni Ofifa reported the case to Reverend Esther Ajayi. And after uh, speaking with uh, Queen Naomi, she agreed that she is going to give Oni one month to make amends. And later, why they are still waiting for the one month? It's not just one month because it was said that Funke advised her to give him six months. That one month is too uh, sudden. So within the six months that they were waiting for him to make an amends, he went and brought Dr. Elizabeth, who's, uh, who then blows everything out of proportion. So when he now uh, went back to Reverend Esther Ajayi, when Queen Naomi have decided that she is not coming back to him, that he have made up, she have made up her mind that she will never ever return back to the palace. It was said that uh, Reverend Esther Ajay told Oni Ofife, "I am a mother with children, and I will not allow anyone treat my child or any of my child the way you treated Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi was with you. You married the first woman. She was there with you. You married the second woman." She was there managing. You married the, sec uh, the third one. She was enduring it bitterly. You married the third, uh, the fourth, fourth one. Even the fifth one that made her to go. Then she even agreed to come back only for you to go and marry the sixth one. What kind of a uh, man are you? If you claim that you love this woman as uh, the mother of the heir, uh, the heir apparent to your throne, you should accord her some respect. You should show her that you love her and even if you don't love her that much, that you should respect her, that that respect would have made her to change her mind. But no, you think you can eat your cake and have it. See, Naomi have done what I will advise my daughter if my daughter happens to be in, your, in, in her shoes. So coming for me, coming to me to talk to her again over this thing will be me belittling myself as in knowing that what you did was wrong then convincing her to come back to you it is wrong what you did was so so wrong and if she ha she were to be my daughter i will advise her never to go back to that marriage so that is the exact thing i am going to tell her if he hap she happens to come to me so don't come to me again go back to your palace enjoy your uh, wives and if possible marry more as you have planned because from what we are hearing, we are hearing that you are going to bring another woman called Lady Bad Moose and another one that will, her name has been withheld for one reason or the other. So, and all these things you are planning and you are still going after Queen Naomi. I, don't you think uh, you, are, you are not doing the right thing? So it was said that this man, blast, this uh, Reverend Esther Jai, blasted him the way he never imagined. That he even shed tears because of what uh, es uh, Reverend Esther Ajay told him. That he never expected it from her. And a lot of people we are uh, te telling the woman, God will bless you. That you are a real daughter of God indeed. That you are a woman of God. 
you know the truth and you stand by the truth. Even where you have a lot of respect for Oni of Tifa, because it is said that this woman respects Oni very well, irrespective of uh, being older than him. That he respects, she respects him a lot as a king and as he had son. But the way things are moving, he is no long. She is no longer in support of his actions. He have made it open. He have said it uh, publicly that. He, she is not supporting him in all this thing that he is doing to Queen Naomi. And then the best thing that will happen to him, for him to still maintain his respect from people, is to free Queen Naomi without problems. To do it honorably because Queen Naomi is going to fight back. And there are a lot of people behind her to fight back if he refuses to do the needful. And like we heard that uh, the matter had been taken to uh, International Human Rights commission and they have issued him uh, uh, a message to release Queen Naomi as soon as possible. But instead of him to do that, he came back to the palace displaying Queen Naomi's portrait all around the palace. So guys, I don't know. This man, the way he's taking this whole thing, eh, we, we are thinking that he have agreed to uh, let Queen Naomi go. But from the look of things, I don't think he is going to do it though. But he has to do it so that uh, this issue of uh, Queen Naomi there, Queen Naomi here and there, will not bring problem to his reign. Because in as much as he's considering his uh, uh, personal self because of what he feels for Queen Naomi or the love he has for Queen Naomi or whatever reason that he, he is doing this thing to Queen Naomi, he should also think about his reign as a king. Because there are things that he can do that will bring problem to his reign and thereby making uh, the elders to dethrone him as he knows that most of them are not happy for him and they can go as far as doing anything to make sure that uh, uh, his reign was tampered with so guys i don't know what to think about the whole thing i want to i want to use this opportunity to remind you that all this information they are all alleged information we did not hear from them directly they are all filtered from social media and other sources so they should be treated as such we do, we are not living in ile ifeo we did not hear from a um, uh, reverend esther Jai. neither do we hear from a uh, uh, oni of ife and the rest of them so please always know that it is a gist or uh -huh, or alleged information so guys, thank you so much for your support. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, okay? And turn on the notification bell to get notified this time I upload a new content. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. My God will always bless you guys for your support, okay? See you guys in my next video. Bye for now. I love you guys.